No. I put it incorrectly. So yeah, this is a pretty minimalist implementation of a Arduino. Um, so on a normal Arduino board, we've got things like a USB input with um, some LEDs to, that are directly wired already to some of the pins on the AT Mega. Instead, here what we've got is a, um, a serial uh, a serial input into the AT Mega. So you don't have a UART, so you're going to need some sort of a programmer like a, a USB ASP or something like that in order to program it. But it is much more breadboard friendly than uh, than even 82. 66s, ESPs, because that gives you some room on either side of the uh, either side of the pins to break out, and you can put that at the far end. That's a reset button, just like we've got a reset button. Let me see. Just like we've got a reset button on this guy, we've got a reset button here. So the crystal and a couple of caps. Which where are the caps? There, there. Those are the caps that go with the uh, the crystal. And then we've got a decoupling cap here, um, or, wait, what is that? It's hard to see where that goes, but it, uh, it no doubt is filtering a power rail. Um, and yeah, so it's very nice, very nice. We've got some uh, voltage input protection here, I'm guessing, uh, for our DTR. Baby, seriously. And yeah, um, a nice little build from the Bold Port Club. Um, this was a board that was a reject. I had to scrape all of the solder mask off of the back, and it was a little bit of a drag, but it was <clears throat> much shorter than building a 8x8x8 um, LED cube, and with just about as pleasing a result, I would say. Um, now, to flash this thing up into something useful, so on the Arduino or the ATmega 328P, which is the uh, with the which is the chip that's on our cuddle, um, PD2 maps to digital pin two in the Arduino environment. So PD2. So now let's flash a program onto there to blink PD2, which is digital two, and we'll make sure that everything's working. And there we go. So we've got Blinky going, so we've got um, our FTDI cable um, properly identified and all of the pins are going to the right place. Well, at least the TXRX power and ground are going to the right place because we've got power and ground going into here and we've got TX and RX because that's what we need in order to program the chip. And it's probably also got um, DTR and CTS um, wired correctly as well because that's what's used to put the um, Arduino into programming mode if I remember correctly but anyways yeah so there we go um, life is good and we've got our, our cuddle dev board um, I should have read the instructions because it turns out that these this pin header is actually offset the the holes for the footprint are offset so it is a friction fit into here so you can actually just pull the header out if you wanted to and then you wouldn't even have to have the um, this programming header and you could power it through VCC and ground right here but eh, if I ever wanted to I could just desolder that and there we go so anyways um, great form factor I love the artwork on the board um, it was a little bit tedious scraping off the um, the silk screen on the back of this, but I don't care. I'm glad that I've got one of these because it's pretty. I like it a lot. Anyways, yeah. Um, so that's the Boltport 06. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. Catch you later.